Today's topic is square and square roots. Now, the question given to us is find the square root of the following number correct to two decimal places. So, see the number given to us is 645.8. We have to follow some simple steps. The first is just copy the number as it is 645.8. Now, in the question, it's asked to find it. Find the square root of this number close to two decimal places. But there, here we can see in the question, there is only one decimal place. So that is why to make it round up to two decimal places, we have to make two pairs after the decimal point. That is, we will add zero. Three zeros. One, two, three. So that we can make two pairs after the decimal number, starting from right to left. So the first pair is this and the next is this and then this after the decimal point and then this. So the purpose behind adding these zeros were first any number for an example 64.2, 64.200, It doesn't matter how many zeros you have after this. It would mean 64.2 only. All these are known as like decimals. So which means over here, if you're adding three zeros, it will make no difference to the question. So the question remains as it is. Now, purpose behind adding three zeros specifically was to make two pairs, as I told you, after the decimal point. So the first step that we have to follow is, see, make the format in this manner. Now, we have got 64.5. Think of a number close to 6, a square number close to 6. It will be 2 into 2, 4. If you list all the square numbers, then 2 square, we have got 4. And after that, 3 square will be 9. And 1 square is 1. So you can see 4 is the closest square. So we will write 2 over here and 2 here. Now the 6, we will write over here 4. 2 into 2 and then that makes 4. Now we are going to subtract it. Once we do it, 2 comes down. And the next pair, 4, 5, moves here. Along with it, this 2 that we have over here, the step is you have to multiply it with 2. Whatever is here, you have to multiply it by 2. So we get 4. Now think of a number in this position and with which you can multiply the whole thing so that we get a number close to 245. What I mean to say is, for an example, 43 into 3, you can see, same number will repeat, 44 into 4, so the same number will repeat. So by trial method, we'll try and find a number close to it. If we do it, we can see, if you're multiplying, for an example, 44 into 4, it will be 176. We'll move to the next number, 45 into 5. Once we do it, we get 2, 2, 5. So this is the closest number. So we are going to use this 5 and this 5. So we are going to write it over here. 5 and the other 5 here. And now this 2, 2, 5 will be written here. To erase all of this to avoid confusion. Okay, now we're going to subtract the number that is 245 and 225. Once we do it, we get 20. So subtract the number, we get 20. Now, there is a decimal point after that. This. It will get shifted here. So let's shift the decimal point. It will come here. After this, the next pair, that is 8, 0, will move down. And here in this step, this 5 into 2, we have to find out. Once we do it, we will get 5 into 2 is 10, and there was 4 already in that place. So the number that we get is 5, 0. How? 45, out of which 5 I have multiplied with 2, 4 will be as it is, and 5 into 2 is 10. So once we add it, 
4 was in this position so it means it was 40 so 50 see we have got this 50 over here now we'll move to the next step think of a number over here with which if we multiply the whole number we'll get a number close to 2080 not exactly but yes close to 2080 by trial method we are going to do it um, let's think of a number for an example if i think of a number 503 into 3 maybe it is if we calculate it it will come to 503 into 3 it is coming to 1509 not close to 2080 let's try 504 into 4 once we do it we get 2016 yes this is favorable so we're going to use this 2016 we're going to use this number and this 4 we are going to write it over here and this 4 we are going to write it over here at the top after deducting what we get is 64 now the next pair moves down that is two zeros let's extend this line Now see we have got 6400. Over here in the next step 50 will be written as it is. But this 4 will be multiplied by 2 again. So we get 4 into 2 8. Now think of a number over here. With which if we multiply this the whole number then we will get a number close to 6400. We will not get the exact number because we are asked to find round up to the 2 decimal places only. So let's think of a number. C505008. If you multiply it by 2, 5,082 into 2, it is huge, 10,564. So we will take 1. So let's take 1. If we take 1, we get 5,081. It's very commonsensical because 6,400 was given. So we'll write the other one over here at the top. Once we do it, we are going to subtract and find out the remainder it will remain as it is because we are asked to find only round up to the nearest decimal and not the exact figure so this is what the answer will be we can write it down as the square root of six four five point eight is equal to 25.41 now we are going to move to the next one that is the next question see we have got 2 only 2 now the same step will be followed here as well we will write 2 but with 2 we have to have 2 means 2.0 or as many zeros we want to put so that is why we are going to write it over here like 2 point and then use pair of 2 because we are asked to find close to 2 decimal places like the usual format now think of a number whose square is close to 2 that will be obviously 1 so 1 into 1 becomes 1 subtract it we get 1 the decimal point will be shifted here so we get one point over here decimal point now this is to be multiplied by two so we get two over here think of a number here and the other pair of two zeros will move down now think of a number that will be close to 100 um it can be 23 into 3 trial and error method 23 into 3 is 69 so think of a greater number let's try 24.4 is 96 close to 100 so we can try out with 4 then so we're going to write 4 here and also at this position 24 into 4 and here we get 96 subtract it 4 remains and again the next pair of 0 will move down two zeros we have we had made pairs of 2 so the next pair will move down that is 400 now the last number will multiply the 2 will be written as it is so we will write 2 here this 4 will be multiplied by 2 so we'll write 8 over here think of a number with which if we multiply the whole number 
then we are going to get a number close to 400 so let's try it to 82 into 2 it will not be possible 282 will be very close to 300 so anything multiplied by 300 can't be 400 so we will not have to really multiply it common sensically we can apply 1 here so we get 281 once we subtract we get 119 and the other one we are going to write over here one here and another here because it is 281 into 1 therefore we can write that the square root of 2 round to 2 decimal places will be this 1.41 these numbers are also called third s u r d which means a number that does not have a perfect square so root 2 root 3 or whatever number that we had done previously of which we do not get a perfect square is known as third